everyone, it's me, Ben, or GNC Centric, and today I'm just gonna do a vlog about Toronto Pride that I went to two weeks ago. So, um, it's a vlog, not a, like a legit video, so there's no specific structure or specific message for this video. It's just my thoughts, feelings, experiences. So, I have been to Pride before, but it was in a small city, and it was basically just like a few blocks on one street and then we all sat in the park and there was like some free live music it was like a lot of families like just sitting around eating picnics in the park some like local vendors and stuff like that it was honestly really nice um at that pride i went to there was like one club in that city and they had like a gay night on like the last night of the like on the night of the pride march and I went with these like two friends who were like straight or bi girls and um, we met up with this trans identified male who I don't know if they go full time as trans honestly that's why I'm like confused about them but anyway they were presenting kind of femininely and they hung out with us like the whole night at the club like getting drunk or whatever. I mean, I don't really drink, but you know. And at the end of the night, one of my friends had left, and the other one was in the washroom, and it was just me and this trans male. And they started being like, oh, so is she yours? Like, do you have dibs on that, or can I get in on that? And I was like, what the fuck? The way that me and my friends had been hanging out with this person, it's like we, ha we had like assumed that this person was only attracted to males, so it was like kind of safe. I think you guys, you know what I mean. Um, and then it turns out that the whole time they were like perving on this one friend of mine. And then they were like acting as if it was like ownership. It really creeped me out. I was like, well, this is what I should have expected from Pride these days. So that was two years ago and I was 21. Now I'm 23. So I went to the Toronto um, Dyke March and Pride for the first time in my life. So I kind of missed the Dyke March, honestly. I had some stressful stuff in my life the week before and I wasn't prepared or organized. So I like made my signs and posters like the morning of and then like ran there and I got like the tail end of it and then um, hung out in a park, stuff like that. Um, the park was like live music and um, specific stuff for the like pride events. So I had a sign that said a day without lesbians is like a day without sunshine. And... Um, I had this flag and I had like a pole on my back so it was like hanging off my backpack and in the bottom corners I had papers pinned on one of them said D-Trans and Proud and the other one said Butch is Beautiful um, because they were kind of lower down they weren't like garnering as much attention which is what I was going for because I didn't want to be like attacked for that specifically um, I was kind of surprised like after the dyke march at this like live music in the park thing like how many males there were like even gay guys but like just so many males I was kind of surprised um yeah it was like interesting I saw a lot of stuff about like trans positivity and trans inclusiveness and things like that not many actual lesbian flags or anything I don't know it's kind of disappointing uh, yeah. Then that night, as I was walking to the subway with this other lesbian I made friends with, uh, there's like this, it was, the streets were so crowded, it was like a mosh pit or something, like everybody was like stuffed together like sardines and like you could only walk at the pace of the people in front of behind you because you were like so stuck. And there was this, um, this creepy dude walking around with like a creepy grin on his face like with his mouth open and he was like holding his pants like away from his body and he was like touching himself um and everybody just kind of like gave him space and kept going and no nobody like addressed it or anything um like like i'm just explaining what i experienced i'm not commenting on what anybody should or shouldn't have done in that situation so yeah that was the night of the dyke march so a lot of people wanted to take pictures with my poster, the day without lesbians, like a day without sunshine. Um, <clears throat> I don't think people really read the bottom of my flag, 
which I, I guess that's fine. But yeah, so that was the Dyke March. Then the next day, I went to the actual Pride. I wore this vest that I wear to like a lot of LGBT events. It has like lots of patches and stuff. I made most of the patches, but I wore this. I realized I didn't spell it right. Blatantly D-trans and no shame. I'm gonna like make a real one and sew it. Um, I was in a hurry when I made it. But anyway, so I wore that and then um, periodically throughout the day, like depending how warm I was because it was super hot, I would just put the flag on as a cape and take off the vest. And nobody really interacted with me. So I think either they saw that flag and like, oh, that's a turf. I don't know, maybe. Or when they saw that I was D-trans, it was like too uncomfortable or awkward for anybody to like talk to me or talk about it. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Um, or yeah, maybe people just saw that and were like, oh, turf. I don't know. I don't know what people were thinking, but I, nobody really interacted with me that day. Um, so at the actual pride parade, first of all, like, a lot of these corporations, it's really obvious that like they have money and they're like, we want to be in pride. And they just have like a bunch of their employees who like look to me to be straight, like wearing rainbow t-shirts, like dancing on a float with like a DJ and a hired go-go dancer or a hired drag queen. Like, it's really superficial. Um, and honestly kind of like condescending. Yeah. <clears throat> On the Toronto District School Board float, I saw a guy dancing around in a leather harness, like with teenagers. So that was kind of weird. Um, I understand why like the Toronto District School Board is there because they're trying to promote like inclusivity of the students in the schools, which makes sense, but, like, there's entire groups, like, who are in the march at Pride who are, like, nudists or, like, kinksters or something. Like, I don't know if that's really an environment for kids, you know? Or, like, a teacher or administrator dancing around in a leather harness in front of kids. Um, yeah. So I saw a couple people with signs that were like, no turfs. I saw a couple people with- I saw one person had a sign that said, I love my wife's dick. Or, um, yeah, stuff like that. I saw- in order of what I saw most, the types of flags I saw were the rainbow, which is like, just horrific. It's freaking everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. Every business had rainbow, like, decals. Like, the streets were painted rainbow, like, everybody had rainbow, it was just, like, too much rainbow. Um, then the trans flag a lot, and then the bi flag. And then some other people had, like, ace flags or, like, the specific non-binary gender flags, but that was, like, very minimal. So, I saw, like, less than four lipstick lesbian flags, and I didn't see any of these lesbian flags. Yeah, I didn't see very many lesbian couples, just a few of them. It was like a ton, a ton of straight couples. Um, and like they weren't just there to observe the parade, they were there to be like flagrantly heterosexual. It was really weird, like maybe they were bi, I don't know. But there were like all these couples, like a man and a woman, and like the man always was like having his arm on top of her, like kind of possessively. Um, and they're like aggressively like making out and holding hands and like so much PDA and I was like this is the place where gay people are supposed to come to feel like they're normal and there's like all these straight people doing PDA and like no gay people anywhere like and the gay people they're just like there to hang out they're not there to like make out in front of everyone like anyway that's what it seemed like to me so I don't know that kind of rubbed me the wrong way and then lots of like like heterosexual families like with their kid in a stroller there for like a photo op was like kind of weird to me um i think for some of them it looked like they were like immigrants and they wanted to show like look how inclusive and cool canada is since i moved here that's kind of like the vibe i got from some people but anyway it was kind of weird to me um i 
I'm a lesbian. And I was subjected to so much penis from the nudists. Like, I didn't need to see that shit. Um, I just imagine, like, some 16-year-old lesbian who just came out going to the Pride Parade and seeing, like, all these nudists with their dicks out and then seeing, like, all these kinksters in, like, dog masks and, like, leather jock straps and shit. Like, it's kind of a hostile environment for a lesbian, honestly. Like, it's disturbing. Um... Yeah. I saw some... Like, cliques of friends where there was, like, a trans-identified male. It's, like, non-binary male or, like, um, a trans woman who was, like, in the front of a group walking around and then behind them was like two or three females who were like kind of gender non-conforming looking or like dressed up for just like a crazy party kind of thing like with flags following around this male and I could not believe my eyes I saw it a couple of times it's literally the physical embodiment of what I see on Twitter and Tumblr like on Twitter and Tumblr there's all these like like a trans woman or non-binary male who will like make these statements that will get them attacked or they'll like attack people and then they have all these, like, females who back them up online. This was, like, the physical embodiment of that. I was, I was like, dumbstruck by that. Um, it was really hot out, so I kind of understand this, but also I was kind of confused by it. So I used to have super horrible chest dysphoria. Now it's, like, pretty mild. But there was a bunch of trans men who were walking around without their shirts on, like, showing their mastectomy scars. Just kind of like proof of how trans they are or something um and like with a trans flag as a cape obviously and then i had quite a few trans guys walking around with just their binder and no no shirt so what it looked like was like a lesbian wearing a sports bra but because they had a trans flag you could tell this was supposed to be a trans man probably um like, I understand it was hot, but it kind of confuses me. Like, if you have chest dysphoria, like, you basically look like you're wearing a sports bra. Like, people can see the outline of your chest. Like, what are you doing? I don't know. It was weird. I saw, like, um, like associations or organizations of therapists and doctors. And they all had, like, one of the doctors had a sign that said, Want to transition? I'll be your physician. And stuff like that, like protect trans kids or like transition as a human right or whatever. And as I was looking at them, all I could think was like, these are people who are going to blindly affirm the transitioning of like exponentially more children, as we're seeing statistically, um, for less and less valid reasons, as we're observing. Um, I, I wish I had prepared like um, statistics to yell at them like do you know this percentage of youth under this age will desist by this age like you know I wish I'd prepared something but I hadn't um so that really disturbed me um oh apparently our prime minister Justin Trudeau was there and like literally as soon as I saw the front of like the liberal party like flags and like signs I was like okay I'm gonna go to like second cup and get a cold drink now and take a break I'm, like I don't need to see political stuff I literally didn't realize he was there until after somebody tweeted me and asked me if I saw him. Um, the most concerning and upsetting thing that I saw at Pride was perverts, which I was not expecting. I should have expected it, I guess, but I was not expecting. Because I've never seen somebody talk about this before. But okay, so yeah, on the first day we saw that dude who was like holding his pants open, jerking off. And then on... On the second day, there's, like, people who are there, like, collecting garbage so that they can, like, turn in cans for money, right? So, there's, like, this dude with a garbage bag full of cans, and he was holding it against a mailbox, and he had his hand, like, in the garbage bag, and he was, like, fucking garbage bag against the mailbox, and he was, like, grunting and moaning and shit, and he was, like, ten feet away from, like, the pride parade barrier, like, really close, and everybody just, like, ignored him and just kept walking. And then... 
on the last night of the Pride Parade, as I was walking towards the subway, I saw these um, two young women who were holding hands, and they had like corporate t-shirts on, like they're from some company that they worked for, and like with rainbows and stuff, and they were holding hands walking towards the subway, and this, this guy was walking really close to them, and I thought he was like friends with them, and he was like fiddling around with his shorts and his underwear, and I was like, what's he doing? And then suddenly, like, the one who was closest to him yelled, like, screw you, dude. And they both, like, walked away, like, towards the sidewalk really quickly. And I, like, came up and I was like, did he just show you his dick? And they're like, it's fine, whatever. And they started, like, walking away, like, even faster. And I started, like, yelling at the guy, like, fuck you, like, blah, 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 whatever. Started yelling at him. And he was, like, giggling. He was, like, getting a kick out of it. So I was like, okay, well, obviously, this is whatever. So I just walked away. Um... And this, the last, that guy, in that he was, like, wearing rainbows and shit. Like, he looked like he was there to be part of the parade or whatever. Um, I read an article on After Ellen today, I'll put a link in the description, about, like, the percentage of lesbians who've never been to Pride, the percentage of lesbians who don't feel safe at Pride, and then I see this shit and I completely understand why there's, like, very few lesbians at Pride. Um, yeah. That was really disturbing to me. I feel like the, the like, pride organizations should have some kind of like protocol or, like, system to deal with perverts instead of just ignoring them. I don't know. Um, it was just really weird. Um, people have differing opinions about cops at Pride, but the cops who were there, they were like having fun. They were really friendly. Um, and then, like, the cops in the parade, they, they look like butch lesbians and stuff. Um, and yeah, like, the only time where I saw, like, actual butch lesbians was there was, like, uh, like, there was, like, a Navy float, like, the, like, the Canadian Navy, and there was, like, an Armed Forces float or something, and they had, like, actual lesbians on there, you know? Um, and then, like, the vegan, there was, like, vegan group, like, about animal rights, they had, like, a bunch of lesbians in that group. There's only a few groups where I could see, like, oh, there's a bunch of lesbians there. Um... But yeah, the cops were there, they were super cool. I think it's honestly, like, great that we've come so far in the last 50 years that, like, cops are harassing people just for being gay, and now there's, like, gay cops who are there to help gay people in, like, specific situations. That, that's, like, what real progress is. Not a bunch of corporations trying to show how, like, oh, look how cool we are, spend money with us, or whatever. Um... So the highlight of my week, weekend, my Pride weekend, was just meeting some cool lesbians. Like I found some gender, criti gender critical lesbians online before and we met up. Um, yeah, so I, it was interesting. I think that for next year, it would be cool if some detransition people could go in groups, even if it's just them and just some allies, with signs that said things like, desistance rates of youth, or like, detrans, no shame, or like, just, you have questions about detransition, come talk to me. Like, signs that like, show visibility, um, it depends where you are, like, how safe that will be. Um, I'm considering doing something like that for next year. Um, I would love to do like, a kind of protest, like, the cotton ceiling type protests that they've been doing in the UK, but Toronto is like very aggressively trans rights, um, so it's probably very unsafe, but we'll see what happens. I'm not overly enthusiastic about Pride. My main takeaway was that it was way more heterosexual, like heterosexual couples to gay couples, like they outnumber them 10 to 1. Um, like, Pride is supposed to be the place where you celebrate your homosexuality and you're not supposed to be the odd one out there. And I went and I was the odd one out just like everywhere else. Yeah. Almost none of the organizations or the floats or anything said the words lesbian or homosexual. They're all like LGBTQIA plus and like queer. And honestly, that's... It's like homosexual erasure. Everything is so inclusive that actual gay people being represented is very small. Um, 
because they're all just diluted into these groups of like, oh, see this organization? There's one gay person here. It's like, I don't know. I just found it alienating that everything was queer, 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 and nothing was like lesbian. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna do an actual video about Pride, like this is just a vlog where I'm gonna do an actual video um, because I took some footage and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to share like my experiences and my thoughts and feelings about what I saw. Uh, if you want to talk about this, feel free to post in the comments or to tweet me. As always, my comments are open for suggestions for future videos. Um, all my social media is in the description. And... Uh, my Patreon, PayPal, and Ko-Fi are also in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye!